just in case you're new here, this is the front porch empty. Be sure to check out last year's front porch. It was awesome. It was all done with witches. This year, we have a new theme. So here it is nice and empty and ready to go. Let's get started. These little cuties are the inspiration for the entire video. I happened to see them in a catalog for Grandin Road and I decided to splurge and set the whole theme for this year's Halloween front porch and do a ghost theme. I think it'll be really cute instead of doing a wreath this year to have this coming out of the middle of the door. Kind of really sets the tone for the mood of walking into the house. <laughs> He's so cute. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put another like tail end coming out of the window that's over there. Sharp tails. I'm just using a safety pin and I'm pinning it to this ghost. Hopefully it's not too heavy. That looks good, but look, I broke that one. I'm gonna have to fix that, but that's so cute. I'll have everything listed down below that I'm able to. Just always checking to see if there's spiders behind here. Okay, I think I'm gonna do cobwebs all coming down in this corner. See how this looks. I really need, I need to put like a tack in that corner because I have one over here and several over here. What? Stuff is confusing. <laughs> it smells weird. Okay, so I'm just taking a, uh, like a tomato stand and I took a tie here, like a hair tie, and tied it together right there. And then I got one of these styrofoam heads. I'm gonna place that on there. And then I got some of the gauze cloth. I got, I picked this one up at Target and we're gonna make our own ghost to flank the door. Here, my dog barking. She's jealous she's not out here. Something else I think we're gonna do is I think I'm gonna get some Christmas lights out of the attic and put those around here and then that way it glows at night. Okay, so the gauze cloth isn't gonna be enough, so I'm gonna have to get a white sheet. This almost wasn't long enough. I need to iron this, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, I think since we can't see her face under there, I think I will go ahead and like put some ghost eyes on there. <laughs> okay, I moved the two ghosts back behind the chairs right there in the corners instead of flanking the front door. I think I want to do something more pretty here and do like some mums. But first, let's go ahead and address this corner down below our spider and see what we can do over here. I got one of these wooden crates that they have at Walmart. I don't think I'm going to actually paint it. I thought about painting it black, but I feel like I have a lot of black and white going on out here, which is my theme, but I'm going to leave this wood and we'll go from there. If you follow me over on Instagram, I showed this cute little guy. I found him at Home Goods, super cute. And then I've had this boo sign forever, 
I think I'm going to get white paint to fill in where it actually, like where the stencil was, where they didn't connect it. So I think I will fix that, but I think I'm going to put that down here. We'll do a lantern and one of those little hay bales that they have at Walmart. And then I bought the cutest flowers at Walmart to go on that. And so I'm going to plant those really quick. Okay, I think that this looks super cute. Do you guys want to know a little secret? It's 90 degrees out here. <laughs> I'm ready for some fall weather. 90 degrees, I'm sweating my braids out. Anyway, let's move on to the next part. Okay, we'll decide if we need more with that. This poor little guy's a little droopy, but maybe we can get him all happy again. Okay, last year I had witches hats hanging from up here and I found these cute little ghosts and I'm gonna hang those from the same line because I never took the line down and I'm gonna hang them from here. This is just fishing line and clear tack. Let's put a black pumpkin, and of course we have to have Mr. and Evie on our front porch. Okay, over on Instagram, I have asked you guys and you voted on whether or not he was just gonna sit there like a skeleton or if he was gonna be covered like a ghost. And covered like a ghost won. So. I think that looks cool because then it looks like a skeleton but yet it's kinda like a ghost. So I just have him here on a chair and I have him tied to the chair so he can't fall over. And I like his mouth open like, ah! So there's that. Okay, so I kind of pulled the ghost out of the corners so we could see it a little better. And so Jason is helping me out. He is inside cutting out black felt for their eyes and their mouth. So let's go see how he's doing. Okay, I think I'm gonna accessorize just a smidge more. Like I told you earlier, this was a black and white theme, but I think I'm gonna add in a little bit of orange. It just needs a little pop of color to really see it from the road. And so let's in, you know, let's just go around and add in a little bit more accessories. What if we, instead of having him covered like a ghost, we put a bow tie on him and a top hat? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer better. Okay, I think I'm gonna add in some corn stalks. Since I added in the corn and some pumpkins, I think I'm going to do these here. They're still drying out. They're still not all the way dry.
Okay, I got this spider thinking, oh, my grandson will really like this. <laughs> okay, I got the giggles. I can't even talk. No, you know he's not gonna like this. this I gotta show you this thing. So I think I'm gonna put it back in here in this corner. Since we have the other spider over there, I'm cracking up. Gonna be a hard no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna plug in a fog machine and get some fun nighttime shots. And then I just called, and Earl May, if you guys have that nursery near you, is actually finally putting pumpkins out tomorrow. So I'm gonna go pick up some pumpkins in the morning and put those all out front here in front of the corn socks. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get some nice like night shots or evening shots with the fog and stuff like that and then that way and then we'll finish it out make it pretty in the morning with the pumpkins i don't know how you can make ghosts pretty but you know what i mean I think this helps it be seen from the road a little bit better. Like when you're straight on, I love that you can see him through there with the fall foliage stuff. And I like the little bows that added a little extra something. So we have a little bit of, you know, spooky fun for the kids, but yet we also have some fall mixed in and I think it just complements each other. Let me know if you guys like this video and we'll see you in the next one.